In February, a female student was trapped inside of the I building elevator. Campus police officer Jack Addison responded to the incident. The lady was headed to her class, said so she got in the elevator and it got to the second floor, but it never would open an I building. While talking to Officer Addison, I asked if getting stuck is common here at Darton, and he said it's more common than you think. So I went to Plant Operations Director Steve Harris and asked him how Darton elevators work and if they are safe. We have no elevators out here on, on Darton campus whatsoever that has uh, that are cable driven. They're all hydraulically done with hydraulic pumps and pump and uh, uh, cylinders underneath the floor of them. Therefore, they're about, probably about the safest elevators you can put under you. Uh, terminology of an elevator falling here at Darton, that would, that's not going to happen due to the fact it is hydraulically operated. Mr. Harris also says the elevators are inspected annually by Albany Elevator Company. And if plant operations can't fix it, Albany Elevator does. If it's small problems, we take care of it in-house, but 90% of it is done by Albany Elevator Company. They're licensed and insured and bonded. When students get on an elevator, the inspection certificate is visible and has an inspection date on it. The one in the I building is two years past its inspection date, but Mr. Harris says these certificates are misleading because the state doesn't do annual inspections. The tag in the elevator really is not relevant due to the fact that the Albany Elevator does the servicing on them. If you look at the tag inside of the elevator, that means that the state inspector has actually come up and looked at the elevator and making sure that we're staying on target. They can come in at, and come back within a year they can come back within three years. They can come back. I have seen them as late as three and a half years without even seeing anybody. So what should a student do if he or she gets trapped inside of a Darton elevator? Officer Addison says stay calm and call for help. It should either pick up the phone in the elevator or either there's a little symbol with the phone on it. You can hit that button. It automatically calls 911. Let them know you're stuck in the elevator. Let them know where you're at and they notify the Darton Police Department and we respond and try our best to get them out. Officer Addison says getting students out is quick and simple. We stick this in the elevator door. It's got a hole in the top of the door. We stick it in and twist it and it opens the elevator door up. Steve Harris and Officer Addison both agree Darton elevators are safe and feel students should not have any concerns when riding on a Darton elevator. Be sure our elevators are safe. For Cavalier Connection, this is Carly Shiver reporting.